So tensor cores are the workhorse of mixed precision training. They were introduced uh, initially with Volta, and now we also have them in our Turing product, so top to bottom in Turing. What tensor core really does is it performs a matrix multiply accumulate. So why that matters is matrix multiplies are the basis of the really heavy workloads in deep learning. So TensorCore takes in a 16-bit floating point and then it does this matrix multiply and then accumulates everything in 32-bit. And 32-bit precision accumulation um, tends to really matter for convergence of networks to really make mixed precision work. The main overall advantage the user sees from using TensorCore is a very large speed up in, in performance. So the theoretical performance speed up is 8x, and on a lot of neural networks, we see around 4x speed up end to end. A common question we get is what's the difference between TensorCore and, and CUDA core? The best way to think about it is that tensor cores are basically inside CUDA cores from the way that you think about programming them. Right? So the CUDA core is how we think about what runs the instruction stream, has access to registers, has access to shared memory, uh, global memory, things like that. The way a tensor core works is you specially format your data into registers, and then you call a tensor core instruction. Predominantly, tensor core is used in deep learning. There are other people looking at it for things like molecular dynamics. So if you're a researcher, you should care about tensor cores because you get to get your work done a lot faster. You get such a massive speed gain from using tensor cores that you can compute things that used to take you days, you can now do it in a day. If I'm a researcher exploring new models, I generally will have a goal of publishing a paper for a specific conference and date. In working towards that goal, being able to explore more model architectures with various data sets, tensor cores allow me to complete these explorations much faster, allowing me to be able to run more experiments in a shorter amount of time, which help me get to the right outcome I need to be able to submit my paper for a conference date. In the end, what matters when you're doing research is that you have to get so many tries at training the, the network, right? Every change that you make to the structure of the neural network, any of the hyperparameters, running hyperparameter sweeps, you just need to get so much compute done. We've done a lot of work already within QDNN and the Kublas libraries and in integrating these methods and techniques into common deep learning frameworks. We've also included a lot of samples and scripts to be able to activate tensor cores for the most common deep learning workloads. We have some tools and utility libraries available that help users who are new to the space more quickly get up to speed and be able to activate tensor cores with either their existing models or their new deep learning models. The best way to know whether you've activated tensor cores when you're running a deep learning model, either for training or for inference, is to use our NVIDIA tool called NVProf. NVProf shows which CUDA kernels are being called while your deep learning model is being executed on the GPU. By seeing the name of the CUDA kernels, such as 884, you'll know that tensor cores are being activated during your workload. You can program tensor cores on your own, so we expose this in CUDA. It's called WMMA. There's documentation APIs you can look at, so if you want to like fuse operations, like you want to do a convolution relu bias as a combined op, you could actually write all that out using WMMA and then CUDA code around it. So it is a fully programmable thing. It really is fundamentally part of our instruction set. So you can learn more about TensorCore on NVIDIA Developer Zone. We also have multiple GTC talks that you can stream, and there's lots of examples in all the frameworks. And we ship containers that have all of the TensorCore and mixed precision work enabled that you can download from NGC.